sure this one is working. Hi guys, hope you're all alright. Okay, so this is our brand, the Secret Bracelet. Uh, we are a French company, and I guess that just to explain you what we are doing, I should show you that. Um, yeah, it's crazy, it's an idea that we had a year ago uh, because originally it was simply a hard drive, a secure hard drive and we thought that it could be interesting to see what's inside the bracelet but without a real screen. We were in a, in a bar having this idea and now I'm here on stage in front of you. Um, we have a working prototype and patents on this. So we are a team of four people, all French, based in Paris. So we have our CEO, the guy in charge of the marketing, the CTO, and myself. And, you know, originally we made the video that you've seen in the back just to check if there was a market and a demand on the, on the bracelet. Uh, it is, it's the case, we have a huge, huge community. The bracelet is not ready, I don't have it. You know, my arm are ready to receive it, but it's not ready yet. But we know that the community is really starving on it and ready to buy it. The main philosophy of the secret bracelet, you know, is just to delete the real screens. So this is part of this stem, I guess, to, you know, make the technology disappear and make it simple. If you only do that, it appears. If you do that, it disappears. So we want to break the rules and I think we're doing it. You know, usually people say that it's not possible because Apple or Samsung never made it before. And I think it's only because they never had the idea to do something like that. Because the technologies that we're using are not revolutionary technologies. You know, you have the peak object projection and the laser detection. So we just put together two technologies that used to be used independently. It's not that hard. And yeah, sorry. There is a second uh, and really important reason of trying to delete the real screen just to make it a little bit green. And to, because we know that the screens are hard to recycle. So if we can escape and don't have any screens, it not make the technology totally green, but we are trying to do our best. There is a wide range of futuristic uses of the bracelets that can be used as soon as we have it. Um, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that all of you may imagine how they can use the secret bracelet. So we have some people in wheelchair that used to tell us that when they are using their wheelchair, if they have their phone in hand, it's not useful. It's not really easy, but if they have something here, they can simply, you know, just play with it. Uh, we have some firemen that want to use something in really warm places and their screen will explode, so we need to delete the screen. Uh, we have health, we have the policemen or soldiers that are interested as well, and of course the kids to play and just to have this wow effect when they're at school and make all their friends buy the secret bracelet. And of course, you know, the Pico Projection technology exists for more than 10 years, but I think that there is no market. I've heard about something like a phone in Asia that, that has a Pico Projector, but it didn't work really well. I think we create the market of the Pico Projection. It's really, it's really tiny today. Um, this is why we're trying to raise funds to be able to buy the components and to get the, the thinnest uh, Pico Projector, but it exists and we are creating the market for them. So if you're a Pico Projection, uh, projector producer here, we can be friends. <laughs> so, what have we achieved? Um, so, we found the Pico projector, that's fine. We have a functional prototype. To speak, fr to speak frankly, it's not really sexy. You know, it's a working prototype. We show that it works and it was uh, useful, of course, to register the patents. But we're working on a second version of the working prototype a little bit smaller, and maybe make 10 or 20 for people to try it and wear it on their arm. Um, and of course, we build the worldwide community. I think this night, we passed the 100,000 uh, people on Facebook, which is pretty massive for something that is not yet on the market. And we, the, the year that passed, we made the, our team grow. So we have James Sullivan and Patric Patricia Grace, and they work at Apple. And they are, they are priceless for us, you know, for all the industrial matters. And they know, they know you, uh, I don't, so. 
And now we have some few steps to do. Uh, basically make it smaller and have a working one. So we are working with two American design offices. Uh, the quotes are ready to make the first hundred working bracelet. We are finalizing a fundraising and as soon as we are ready to pay 50% of the quote, they will go for it and may be able to deliver us the working bracelet with the final shape, the final components and the final functionalities within six months. So this is um, what we've done in terms of hardware. We sourced all the components and they are practically all ready to be bought. We have a letter of intent from one of the most important manufacturers and I have an NDA with this important manufacturer so I can't say who it is. On the software, we internalize, internalize sorry, everything on the software because we have all the knowledge for that. So we are already working on the interface and the low uh, base of the software that we'll use in the bracelet. And our objective is of course to make the community grow and to be able to open the pre-orders this year and if it's possible to start the commercialization and the delivery at the end of this year, the beginning of next year. And now, if you have any questions? Questions. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi. So thanks a lot, Guillaume. I actually wanted to ask uh, how does how will how long will the battery last on this kind of bracelet? Uh, we expect to have a working battery, you know, if it's full use for a two hour and a half. Okay, thanks. Pleasure. There was another one? So, do you plan to use a laser projection that means laser beams, the scanning, or do you use uh, some kind of standard projection like LCD projection? So I'm not the CTO, but it's not a reason not to answer you. So, we are going on the laser option, right? Because my CTO is right there. Yeah, it's the case. We are going on the laser solution. What is your plan in terms of integration with audio? Uh, the audio part? Yes. Yeah. The fact is that, um, you know, we made a survey on our website, so we have 45,000 people that applied and answered, and the first thing that they want on the bracelet is that it's waterproof. So we cannot put a, a, a you know, jack inside, because it will be a hole, so all the water will come inside the bracelet, so we'll use Bluetooth. So it will be wireless head, head uh, you know, earphone. There's a question over there, there's another one cool. over there. And there is one. Yes, my name is Chris. Thank you for uh, sharing this. I don't have a question. I'm just volunteering to test one of the first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So I have two questions for you. One, uh, in your testing so far, how do people feel about this motion, which seems rather awkward to me? Uh, and two, how does it look on darker skin tones? Okay, first of all, you know, the fact is that, the, 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 you know, when you project something, there is a deformation, and we are making the deformation, you know, in a good way by software, which means that you can, you know, uh, project in any surface. So you don't have to use the bracelet like that, you can use it here, you can even, you know, turn it here and use it on this part of your arm, and because we did two patents, there is another one where you can put your bracelet in a base and project on any surface in front of you, so you know you choose. And the second question, sorry, what was it? If it's working on dark skins, yeah. The fact is that we, I don't put it there on the video, on the presentation, but on, with the working prototype that we had, we tried it on a black skin, and it's working much more better on black than on white one. Yeah. There was one more. 
Hi, uh, can the picture format be, be uh, reshaped by the customer? The picture format? Format, yeah, because there are several shape of arms, I think. Or... Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. My opinion is that when you will buy the secret bracelet, um, you know, the first time you start it, you will be able to choose exactly the size of the screen that projects on the arm. And you will be able to reset this, uh, you know, this sizing to even if you want to project on the wall. Very nice. I will make a second one to test, okay? Okay. <laughs> Okay, good. Still, my favorite question. What do you need and when can we get it? To have the bracelet? Oh, we're always looking for partners. You know, in France, we are not really business friendly, but we have some lots, lots and lots of help from the French state for research and development. But we're looking for investors, we're looking for industrial partners. So, I uh, don't know if you have my email address, but uh, I'm sitting right here. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Thank you so much. much.